Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Blair. Today's video is a full face of my favorite high-end makeup from 2019. I've already done this video with my favorite drugstore makeup that I'll link for you if you haven't seen it. But in that video, I just applied a full face of all of my drugstore favorites and told you why I love them. So I'm going to do the same thing for high end. I was going to sit down and just talk about my favorite products, but I personally like to see products being applied instead of just talking about them. So that's why I thought it would be fun to do a full face of my favorite high end makeup products. Not all of these products came out this year. I just fell in love with them this year. I do have some new ones that did come out this year, but some of them are older products that I have just recently discovered throughout the past year. If you're interested in seeing my full face of my high-end makeup favorites from 2019, please keep watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get started. My first product, I don't even know what to say about this product really because people talk about this all the time and it's in so many YouTube videos, but I absolutely love it so I wanted to include it in this video and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is so beautiful. If you like your face to look almost ethereal, lit from within, not shimmery or glittery, but just like you're naturally glowing. This is that in a bottle. It is so beautiful. I wear the shade number two. I can wear shade three, but I have to have quite a bit of sun to do that. And typically what I'll do is apply it where I want more of a highlight on my face. But you can also mix it in with your foundation. You can put it over your foundation. It's a really good multi-use product. And I like it because it does not look like you've just put a liquid highlighter all over your face. Which sometimes that look is good. I don't mind that look. But this is a very natural way of adding glow to your skin. Next is a color corrector and this one was kind of hard. I have quite a few color correctors that I love. I shared a really affordable one that I love in my drugstore best of 2019 makeup video. But it took me, I have a few high-end ones that I really like, but it took me a little while to decide which one was my absolute favorite if I could only pick one. And I ended up going with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. So this, I think, is great coverage. The consistency doesn't look cakey under your eyes. It's not drying. It does a great job of correcting. It's. I just felt like this one was my favorite of all of them. I have quite a few that are in like pots or compacts that I like, but not if not as much as this one. This one is just, it's just perfect. I love it. I reach for this one all the time and it, it does exactly what it needs to do. It doesn't look dry. Sometimes with pot correctors, they can start to look a little dry, especially if you apply a good bit of them, which I typically need to do because I have dark circles all the time, but this one doesn't. If you're familiar with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, the original one, the formula is just like this one. So if you like that concealer, you would like this corrector. And I'm going to blend it in with my damp sponge. But this is just one of those products that is not negotiable for me. No matter what, I always apply an under eye corrector. It just makes the biggest difference. And this one is a really good one. This also comes in a yellow color. It comes in green. 
and it also comes in a really dark almost an orange if you have a darker skin tone but I mean it's just so good it's so good see how I just instantly took away those blue circles under my eyes is crazy it is the best thing ever I have a ton of correctors like I said but this one is my favorite if you need a really awesome color corrector look into this one for concealer this one was also hard I did mention in my drugstore video that actually my favorite concealer ever is from the drugstore. So go watch that video if you want to know what that concealer is. But for my high-end concealers, I do have a few that I really, really like. And my favorite out of all of them is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. And actually, the consistency of this is very, very similar to the drugstore concealer I mentioned in my other video. So if you're looking for an affordable option, as opposed to this, go check out the concealer in that video. But this concealer, the consistency is perfect. It gives great coverage. It's not thick, but it's not super thin and doesn't cover. It's right in between. It's perfect. I love it so much. It is everything I personally like in a concealer. I actually use the shade number two. This one is more of a yellow tone, so it helps kind of tone down redness. So I use it on my face sometimes too, but I'm going to blend it in with my sponge. It blends out so easily too. I mean it's I'm barely pressing with this sponge. I mean I'm just lightly tapping and look at that it's pretty much blended. The other concealer that I do also really really love that I was considering for this is the La Mercier Flawless Fusion and I do really like that concealer too but I had to go with this one just because I find myself reaching for this one the most. For foundation, this one wasn't that hard for me. I have tried a lot of high-end foundations this year, but this one was the only one I could honestly say I loved it the first time I used it. As soon as I used this foundation, I knew I was going to like it and I was going to continue to use it, and I definitely have. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I love this. Obviously, if you see my other videos, I like a luminous finish to my foundation. That's just my personal preference. I have really normal to dry skin. I do not have oily skin. So luminosity is not an issue for me because I don't struggle with oiliness. This foundation to me is the perfect mix of luminosity. It's not luminous to the point where it feels greasy because to me there's a fine line between being luminous and being greasy. This is that for me. So I'm going to use this today. I don't know what it is about it. I just, I knew as soon as I tried it that I liked it. I wear the shade 200W and maybe a little dark for me now because I got this in the summer when I had more, or I had more color on my face but I love this foundation. I also love to mix this foundation with other foundations. <laughs> this is like my go-to when I want to mix a different foundation. I will mix it with this one. So I'm gonna just kind of go over it with my damp sponge now. Just to make sure I don't have any brush strokes or anything. I just love the finish of this. Like this is the perfect mix of luminosity to me. I don't know. I just love it. 
I love how this foundation looks. This is definitely my favorite from this year, hands down. For powder, this was pretty easy because I just reach for this all the time. So this was an obvious choice for me. I am obsessed with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This, I use this all the time. I use this all over my face. I'll mix all three of these colors and it just, I don't even know how to explain it. It just gives that same luminosity I was talking about with that foundation and that primer. It's a luminous look without looking glittery. I use it under my eyes and all over my face. You don't have to obviously use this under your eyes if you're worried about more of a luminous powder in that area, but I personally really like it. I would definitely recommend getting this palette during like one of the Sephora sales or something. That's when I got this palette just because it is pricey, but for me it's worth it because I use it all the time. I mean, all the time. I usually will just mix all of these colors and use that to set my foundation. I do it all the time. For bronzer, this was also pretty easy for me. It's another Hourglass product. It's the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. This is so beautiful. I just love this. This is a total splurge. It's a very expensive bronzer, but to me it's worth every penny. It gives you the same luminous glow that all of the Hourglass powders do in bronzer form. And it's just... It's just beautiful and they do have other other bronzers by Hourglass that are also really pretty. I just personally really like the Radiant Bronze Light but there are different options that work better for different skin tones depending on how light or dark you are. But this one is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love it. Also think, pretty sure I got this during the spring Sephora sale this year but I mean this is just I know it's expensive but it is it's worth it to me it looks so pretty on your eyes as eyeshadow as well to me you just really can't go wrong with this and it is a pretty large bronzer so for me it will last me a while so to me, it's worth it, and I would highly, 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 highly recommend it. For blush, this one was really hard, because I have a few high-end blushes I tried this year that I love. So this was really hard, but if I had to pick one and only one, I had to go with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I just love this blush. If you love the Pillow Talk lip liner, which most people do, and you love that rosy, almost a mauve -y pink, you will love this. This is a 10 out of 10 must-have product. And with the highlight in the center, I mean, oh, so, so pretty. I love it so much. This had to be my pick. Even though I do have a few that I had to say are were real contenders. I had to go with this one. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh, it's so so for eyebrows, this one was also really easy because I never find a brow product I like as much as this one. So this is definitely my pick for 2019. It's the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is just, this is everything I want and need in an eyebrow pencil and it's perfect. The size is perfect. The color for me is perfect. I use soft brown if you were wondering, but this is just my favorite. 
I would be very, very surprised if I find something that I like more than this. Because it's just, every time I use it, I love how my brows look. The next product is an eyeshadow base, and ironically, I found this at TJ Maxx earlier this year, and I love it. And I feel like it was there probably because it's being discontinued, but I love it, so I wanted to use it in this video. It's the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This one is in the shade Light. If you've tried the original NARS eyeshadow primer, this is just like it, but it has a tint to it, and this is so good. It's I really do notice a difference with my eyeshadow when I use this, and it evens out your eyelids at the same time, which is great because I always have, or I have really veiny eyelids, so I really do have to use something that can kind of even that out before I go in with shadow, and this does that. So I'm assuming this is probably being discontinued, but if you see it out somewhere, or if you can find it online, or I honestly, if you just get the original one, that would be good too for just making your shadow last longer. But the tinted one to me is even better because it evens out your eyelids. Because most people do, I feel like, have some discoloration that they want to kind of cancel out on their eyelids before they go in with eyeshadow. And this does both. For eyeshadow, this was kind of hard because I have gotten a ton of eyeshadow palettes this year. I did my 12 days of palettes. That was my way of trying to use all my palettes that I have and really figuring out what I love the most. And if I had to choose one palette, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. Came out this year for holiday and I just love it. I love everything about this. I've done several videos here on my channel using this palette. If you like more of a matte eye look, you're not gonna like this palette. But if you like shimmer, you need this in your life if you can get your hands on it. So we're just gonna use a few of the colors today. I'm gonna go in with the matte brown in the Happy Glow. I love this palette because you get a really wide variety of shades in here. If you're not familiar with this palette, it has four little trios. So you have Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. So you can use these three to create an eye look. You can mix and match them, but all the colors in here really do go well together. I've done several videos using this palette that I'll link for you. If you haven't seen them, I've done a review where I did swatches and all that. And then I've done a video where I just used it to do another eye look in my 12 days of palette. So I'll link those for you if you're interested. But I just love this palette. If I could only pick one from this year, it would be this one. I also just really like Charlotte Tilbury's formula in general. I just have a lot of luck with her shadows. They, to me, just blend really easily. It's not hard. It's very effortless to blend her shadows. So that's another reason I love this palette. Now I'm going to go into the matte rosy shade in Love Glow. And I'm going to put a little bit of this out in the outer V and into the crease a little. So pretty. Now I'm going to go back in with a little more of the matte brown and just blend this out a little bit more. Now I'm going into this middle shade from Love Glow with my finger. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this kind of towards the outer V. So pretty. Then I'm gonna go into the lightest shade in Love Glow. 
and I'm gonna tap this in the inner part of the lid and then use it to kind of carve out the lid. And then I'm gonna go into this gold shade in the Dream Glow. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the inner corner. And a little under my brow bone. I just love this palette. I just don't think it gets any prettier than this. And maybe if you're wanting to try Charlotte Tilbury shadows, this is a great way to do it. And you get a lot of variety in here. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. I'm not a huge eyeliner person, but I have been using this a ton this year, so I wanted to mention it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. So you can use this for eyeliner on your lid, obviously, but what I use this for is to line my waterline because I honestly like the look of just lining your waterline and that's it. Nothing on your top lid. And I like this pencil in particular because it stays put. It doesn't rub away. It doesn't smear down to the bottom lash line. It stays put all day. I had to mention this because I use this every day. Totally worth the money in my opinion. It's my Surratt eyelash curler. I've been using this. This is always a favorite. I don't use any other lash curler except this one. And the mascara that I've been using the most this year, if you see my other videos, you may know Benefit Roller Lash is my absolute favorite mascara of all time, and I still absolutely love it. I use it all the time. But this year, my favorite high-end mascara is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This mascara is not clumpy and I've been using this for months and I swear it does not get clumpy. I don't understand how but this mascara gives you length and volume. I feel like a lot of the times a mascara either gives great volume but not a ton of length or it gives length and no volume. This one is like the best of both worlds to me. I mean, look at that. It was so good. I love this. Last, so we have lips for lip liner. This one, this was hard too because I've discovered quite a few lip liners this year. But the one I love the most, if I had to pick one, is this one from KKW Beauty. It's the nude lip liner in nude 0.5 this is to me the perfect nude it's not super brown but not super peachy it's just right in between it's the perfect shade for me and these lip liners are so creamy you can use this as your lipstick and just fill in your whole lips very Fill in your lips with it for sure. They are so, so creamy. I, oh. This 0 0.5 is the only shade that I have, but I really want to get another shade because I love this formula that much. Oh, perfect. I just love this shade. This is definitely my favorite lip liner for sure. This formula in general is awesome and they have it at Ulta now. So definitely the next time you're in Ulta, look at her lip liners. She has red ones, pink ones, and nude ones. And oh, they're so, so good. 
Then for lipstick, this was also very hard. I've gotten a ton of lipsticks this year that I really like. My favorite high end is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 in JK Magic. This with this lip liner is just perfect. It's the perfect nude combination in my opinion. I mean, oh, I'm obsessed. I love it so, so much. I love this Hot Lips 2 formula from Charlotte Tilbury. It's so, so good. I would highly recommend it. I have a few other shades in the Hot Lips 2, but JK Magic is definitely my favorite. Nude is my go-to. I have kind of been getting into deeper lip colors towards the end of the year that I've really been liking, but my go-to for every single day is the Perfect Nude, and that one is that for me. And then for lip gloss, I had to go with my Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. I also love the shade Fussy. I went with the Diamond Milk because it just gives that shine and really, really pretty shimmery glossy look to your lips and it doesn't matter what lip combo you have underneath this looks great this is pretty by itself it's pretty with lip liner and just applying a little bit of this it's just i love this so much i love the gloss bombs in general but i use the diamond milk all the time last but not least is highlighter and for me this was super easy i didn't have to think about it at all my favorite, hands down, is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. If I could create my own highlighter, my perfect highlighter, it would be this exactly. Not only because it's called the Cookie Highlighter, and I am a cookie-holic. I love cookies. I'm a cookie monster, really. This highlighter is the perfect one for me. This is a very intense highlight, so don't use too much because... It's a very blinding highlight, but oh, it is so, so pretty. I love it. I mean, look at that. Oh. I mean, this, this is just everything. This is also really pretty on your eyes as an inner corner highlight. Oh. Look at that, I'm barely touching this. Oh, I'm obsessed. Look at that glow. Oh, yeah, so hands down, if you're looking for a new blinding highlight, <laughs> this is my go-to. I love this so, so much. I hope you enjoyed seeing my full face of my favorite high-end makeup from 2019. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. What do you think of this look? Have you tried any of these products? Also, let me know what your favorite high-end product from 2019 was. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Also, make sure to follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, simply be you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.